today we want to talk a little bit about the uh, the gas fire that we built. Um, thanks to Joshua Burks for his videos on how to make a gas fire. We're not going to quite go into detail on how we made it. We'll explain a, a few things. We use a 24 inch pipe, 5 inch in diameter on the inside. Stuck it in there, welded it around. Of course, uh, we're not very good welders, but uh, we made it work. We had to go back and use some uh, of that cement that fixes uh, wood stoves to put that around there. Come to find out that when you do that and you heat it up, it bubbles up, but it tends to do a pretty good job in sealing up. Anyway, we've got the two inch fire tube going halfway into the burn tube. We drilled a cup, few holes just to kind of get the fire to go down in into the bowl. The bowl, what we use is some pretty heavy duty chain. We then welded that up onto a, uh, well, it wasn't a stainless steel bowl, we used a brake drum. We didn't want to have to worry about what kind of heat we were going to be producing in there to melt everything and Anyway, we didn't want to have to take it all apart and and mess with it. So everything's way overbuilt for what we were making. The uh, the actual housing here, uh, we got that from a, an old compressor. The uh, the actual the, the burn tube here sticks up about four inches. I guess we could put a, a hopper on there later on. You got uh, the five inch uh, square tube here. Uh, that's your ash clean out and it's, it's amazing that this thing hardly produces any ash. We've uh, burnt for several hours and there's there's no ash to be uh, scooped out of there so that's kind of it's kind of great. Instead of the shaker uh, being down at the bottom what we did is we took this rod ran it straight down to the chain hooked it and then welded it so it's it's not going anywhere. I just didn't want to have to be bending down here or wherever. Um, you can just take it, take it just like that. Come on over here. This tube here, we didn't want to use couplers because uh, again, we didn't want to have to worry about it getting too hot. Uh, so this part right here, uh, we went went ahead and welded. And of course, we use that uh, stove cement to seal it up um, and then again like Josh's uh, uh, videos this goes down this pipe right here goes right down the center to about uh, two inches from the bottom uh, and again this pipe right here goes through the side here swirls around um, I guess that's why they call it a cyclone filter down here on the bottom we put a, a water faucet spigot uh, so when you're done running it just drain that into a jar let's think about putting a, another jar there but the gases come from here um, they go to the bottom of this we, by the way this is this right here is uh, one of those old uh, oil heaters I figured that'd be a real do a good job of uh, you know, cooling down the gases even further. It goes into here. The gases travel up while the condensation stays down at the bottom. The gases travel up out of here, which goes into our 55 gallon filter that's filled up with the, uh, you know, basically sawdust, shavings, wood shavings uh, on the bottom of that filter. I'll get more into that uh, here in part two um, but anyway it goes into the filter and out, out uh, comes the, the gas this thing right here has been great what ends up happening all that all that condensation all that water stays down on the bottom this fills up goes into this jar here where it gets captured and as you can see I mean uh, yeah, that stuff is pretty dirty still. And that's why I wanted to go with that 
55 gallon uh, filter. I didn't want any of that crap getting into the engine. Uh, so far it seems to be doing a pretty good job. From the reactor to the cyclone filter here, these pipes are two and a half inch uh, exhaust pipe. Also the, the burn tube here is a quarter inch pipe. Again, we didn't want to worry about how hot this thing got. It can get glowing red for all I care. So it goes from two and a half inch exhaust, again, two and a half inch into um, this old oil heater. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, a heat exchanger, I guess is what that's called. It does a pretty good job. By the time it gets to the filter, there's Basically, it's whatever temperature it is outside, it turns work out pretty good.